Hey guys, welcome back. Today on Real Reviews, we are at the Citrus Candy Factory. We're gonna go inside and take a little bit of a tour. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna meet with Tom Davidson. He is the owner. We're gonna check out what they have. And here he is, this is Mr. Tom Davidson right here. Hello. Hey there, Tom, nice Hi, to meet you. Good to see ya. And I'll let Tom just go ahead and take it away right here and let us know what he has going on here in the Citrus Candy Factory. Go well, on ahead, Tom. Well, sure, yeah. Um, welcome to Davidson of Dundee. Uh, started back in 1967. Um, my grandfather grew up uh, in this area. My father, uh, of course, was a young man uh, living over in Winter Haven. And uh, as he was, got older, he planted some of the orange groves and grapefruit and tangerine groves in this area. Before that, he worked for a company in St. Louis called Sunline Candy Company, and they made pixie sticks. He and a really good friend of his uh, at a Rotary Club got together, and they figured out a way to make pixie sticks turn into sweet tarts. At that time, the Sunline Candy Company got really big and popular and got bought out by a Fortune 500 company. So he decided to come back home, and he left Sunline back in the 60s and built this in 1967. And wanted to make his own uh, candies and, and added jellies and marmalades as well. So we've been here, uh, gosh, 50 some years and um, got uh, wholesale where we have our own trucks that are throughout uh, the state and uh, in southern states where we deliver. <laughs> we ship our products all over the U.S. and Canada. We make over 100 flavors of candies and, and citrus candies, everything from pralines, coconut patties, uh, chocolates, truffles to the main deal being the citrus candies that we make with uh, citrus juices. And we also have uh, 104 different flavors of marmalades and jellies, everything from orange marmalade and honeybell marmalade, all the way to guava, mango, key lime, and uh, raspberry jalapeno even. So we've got an uh, awful lot of choices. Oh, wow. And Tom, you guys also make chocolates here, don't you? We certainly do. Yeah, we've got uh, a number of those as well with pecans or with uh, caramel or sea salt or peanut butter and, and mint and a key lime and orange chocolate so yes quite a, quite a bit of those as well sure okay great and, we'll and, actually, and of course we have free samples of everything to, to try oh wow we're definitely so, yeah. going to try out a couple of samples of that before we go today sure. and um we, we do have a website as well so we can we, put that in the description we do we do the, the website is davidson of dundee.com davidson of dundee.com okay so we're going to go ahead and take a look over here i guess sure. this is the jelly side just go ahead and lead us along and let us yeah, know what you have absolutely yeah what we'll do we'll we'll use the copper kettles so we will um Cook that uh, uh, citrus candy. It'll be, oh gosh, up to about 226 degrees. We'll pour that onto the marble tables. And we use marble because that'll pull the heat out of the candy pretty rapidly. So it'll, it'll help it to set up. And we use real citrus juices, all local, either whether it's orange or grapefruit, um, lemon, tangerine, what, key lime, whatever. And then we'll cut those. And, and then on that table back there, that's where our main cutting is. And with that cutting machine. On this side, we'll, we'll be packing the product here. Um, we use pecan log rolls, the citrus candies, which um, you can kind of see on the rack. We've got some tangerine, lemon, orange, and some key lime as well. And then uh, we'll get those packed and then run through our sealing machines. Oh, look, here's a sealing machine right here. You can take a look at that. Yeah, so that'd be, be the. And so that's like a saran there. wrap. Is that some type of ball? Um, yeah, and it's, yeah, put it on there and shrink it, it down. Yes, make it real tight and, and real nice that way. Very cool. And take a look over here, too. They have 400 pound barrels of sugar. So that's your jelly candy. And what is the actual name of this type of candy here? It's called citrus candy. Citrus candy yeah. is what he has right here. Yeah. Okay. And then right. on the jelly factory is um, down at the other end. Would you like to see that? Sure, absolutely. Okay. Super. Let's take a look. We have a lot of different jellies here. Yeah, a lot of different citrus candies, All chocolates. Different ones, different ones. Everything. Lots of variety. Of course, the important part is the samples. So you can try and there see which go. one you like the best. Free samples, guys. <laughs> so guys, if you come out here, you can check it out. You can actually get some free samples. You can see what you like best, and you can take home a nice package. Um, we're gonna uh, today. We're gonna make. I believe it's gonna be orange marmalade. I think it's what we're starting out with. So we'll run the orange marmalade we'll over to the hopper on the machine, and then it'll pour it down into those jars. Come down into a, a, um, a cooling tunnel, which is uh, sprays it with cold water, and then comes through and gets labeled and cased, and then palletized. Wow. So, so what are the jars? What do the jars actually look like? You have some over here. Yeah, on the sure shelf? do. Yeah, sure Let's do. Let's go ahead and take Got a look at the jars here. that he has on the shelf. Well, on a day like this, we'll put out about 5,000 pounds of the marmalades or jellies. And then on candies, we're running candies tomorrow. That'll be about 3,200 pounds. Um, but yeah, we've got the one pound um, jellies, marmalades here. Oh, wow. Look at that. And that's like really, that's legitimately, <laughs> this is like really real stuff here, guys. This is not like something that you're going to find at Walmart or something like that. Most yeah, likely. We, we don't use any this high This is really toast. real. Yeah, it's kind of like grandma did it. So it's, uh, some of these recipes are from the early 1900s. Um, and it really, really makes some really good flavorful stuff. The eight ounce jars are, are on the other side. Um, but the best selling jar is the one pound. The one pound jars. Mm -hmm. Look, they even have a jalapeno pepper jelly. 
<laughs> wow, Florida Sunset Jelly. There's all sorts of different varieties of jellies, candies, and let's go over the chocolates that you have over here. Well, sure. Oh, look, you yeah, even have a got... peanut brittle and everything. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, I, you listen, I've been eating the, the peanut brittle, uh, gosh, since I was a kid, and I've, I've never gotten tired of it, but the uh, that's really delicious. I like the chocolate-covered peanut brittle as well. Um, and then we have a pecan brittle, um, pecan log roll slices. We've got the chocolate-covered pecans, peanut butter fudge. Uh, we've got little little gators, and we've got some medium gators and big, giant chocolate gators down oh, there. Oh, wow. So you have you fudge those. also, plus you have the chocolate. Yeah, so is got, this chocolate yeah. or fudge right yeah, here? That's a sea salt, chocolate, sea salt, dark chocolate. We've got the chocolate peanut butter. We've got chocolate key lime, chocolate mint, um, the chocolate fudges, uh, the orange dream, which is an orange and vanilla. And then we have the um, white chocolate with pecans. Oh, wow. That's yeah. awesome. And then, of course, the citrus candies are the... The ones that are really unique are on this side. So, and here's all the packaged citrus mm -hmm. candies. That will, that's what was actually being cut back there on the table, mm -hmm. made and cut on the table back there. Yeah. So you'll have the the uh, most popular one is the orange, uh, lemon, and key lime. That's the the citrus delicacy assortment. Um, but we also make the citrus candies in in like uh, gator shapes. That would be a key lime. Oh, and, nice. And, uh, we have that. lemon. So we've got chocolate gators and citrus. Citrus candy gators as well. Awesome. So um, now, what is and, the difference yeah. of, of these type of candies versus, like, you know, the little like orange slices that they used to yeah, sell? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, uh, the, the 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 main thing these these uh, the citrus uh, candies are are kind of neat. The marmalade those recipes are over over hundred years old. That's early nineteen hundreds. Um, these guys are are much older than that. Some of these recipes will go back several hundred years. Oh wow! And it's yeah, pretty fascinating stuff. Um, it's 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 uh, made with the real fruit juices, um, which is Pretty important. Um, that's that's a really neat thing. It's real. Uh, they call it a delicacy um, because when you when you bite it, it's not going to stick to your teeth. Uh, oh, have any okay. of that, those bad properties? So is this it pretty much to the melts slices? as you eat it. Well, the, the slices are going to be pretty hard, and then they'll Harder. stick to your teeth. They stick to the teeth. These don't. Um, okay, so there's, there's nothing. That, there's nothing that's going to jam you up there, so you can you can eat it like as if it's a real piece of fruit. Nice. It's nice. not going to uh, cause any anything like that. Are these the samples over here? Yeah, I've, I've got some coconut patty samples there because um, we make chocolate coconut patties. Okay. So and then samples, samples on the other here. side as well. And you have samples of the marmalade right over there. Marmalade oh, and candies. Marmalade and the candies. Let's yeah. go ahead and try yeah. one of these citrus candies over here. Absolutely. Let's take a walk. Tom, you which know, is the I, one that you actually I, you like You know the what? Best? I like the orange, lemon, and key lime. Um, honey bell's good. You know and what, though? Strawberry is pretty tasty. What do you got? Um, watermelon, citrus juice, blueberry, blueberry Yeah, the blueberry, watermelon. Yeah, okay. <laughs> as, as we, as we kind of go let's into Let's try them. one of these. Let's try, let's um, try the lime. Let's try the key lime yes. one. See how that yeah. one is. Yeah, see what y'all think of the key lime. Taste it. Yeah. Wow. Try anything. That's really good. And it's not sticking to my teeth at all. It really is. It tastes really, really good. I know. It's, it's pretty unique. And it's kind of like like uh, like the orange is like biting into an orange or or the lemon or key lime is, is yeah, kind of like you're biting into that piece of fruit. So is this a chocolate or is this like a peanut brittle yeah, type? Yeah, it's it, no that the, the the chocolate peanut butter crunch is going to be uh, chocolate um, with peanut butter in it and on top of chocolate. So let's take a look at this one right here. This is the chocolate uh -huh. peanut butter crunch right here. Uh -huh. There's actually chocolate with peanut butter on top of the chocolate. Let's see what that tastes like. I like that one. And you can actually taste the flavors coming together. We taste the peanut butter on the top. That's definitely good. Wow, guys, see these candies are really good. You have to check it out. You got to go to the website. Get some of this for yourself and for your family. They will definitely enjoy it. The holidays are coming up. This is a perfect time to grab some of these candies and send it around and just bless somebody with some delicious flavor from Florida. And we get some of the candy uh, assortments and baskets. These are the ones that, that are, are uh, ordered oh, look at this for one. Christmas. So it has an alligator in the middle yeah. of it. Check that out. That's awesome. We've got the large gators here and the medium gators here. And the small gators uh, were in that these. bag that you sell for the chocolates. Now, is this dark chocolate, a milk chocolate? Yeah, um, it, it's, a, it's a light dark chocolate. So it's, it's going to have a um, uh, flavor profile. It's going to be between milk and dark. So it's not a high cacao content, so it's not bitter. It tastes really good. <laughs> nice, <laughs> so, nice. Davidson of Dundee right here. We grab one of these, and we get the website right here, davidsonofdundee.com. We have the phone number. We have the address. You guys can definitely check this out. I was just speaking to Tom right here, and he was just informing me that they actually have the citrus groves that go along with the fruit juices. Can you go ahead and talk yeah, about that? Well, sure, sure. We have um, uh, a groves that'll have, a, gosh, all kinds of flavors in them, all kinds of varieties. We'll have uh, navels, honey bells, we'll have the tangerines, uh, red grapefruit, white grapefruit. 
um, just a whole assortment, uh, even 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 the things that you don't really hear uh, much about, pineapple oranges and even parts and browns, but the main ones are the navels and honeybells and the ruby red grapefruit, of course. They, that, that, those are real popular. Um, the mangrove will put about 50 million uh, pounds of fruit every year. So that, um, yeah, is pretty nice for us. Uh, of course, you know, with uh, things that have been going on for the last few years and with developments moving in, um, it's getting more and more difficult to, uh, you know, uh, uh, be able to find land where we can, we can wow. uh, plant more groves, that's for sure. So you hear that, guys? You got to get your candy now. Because <laughs> when they say there's citrus juice in it, it's real fruit. That's for kidding. sure. That's for sure. And, and that's the whole secret of what makes it so good is that yeah, it using, does. using real juices make a huge difference. Okay, guys. So uh -huh. we're just going to see uh, what the process is right now, what they're actually doing. So go ahead, Tom. Let us know. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're doing orange marmalade right now. So with, you, with orange marmalade, of course, is orange juice and sugar and, and uh, orange peel, mainly. Those are going to be your main ingredients. Um, and, and, and again, adding orange juice uh, makes all the difference in the world for flavor. Um, but right now, what we're seeing is that orange marmalade is going into the jars, and that, that's coming down at uh, getting filled at about uh, 216 degrees. Um, and then, of course, we're getting those capped. They're going to go down that conveyor belt into that uh, tunnel, which is a uh, tunnel with... Uh, like a cold water spray, and that'll help the uh, marmalade to gel faster. And then as they come out underneath the uh, blower at the far side, it'll get the water off of the lids. And then uh, as they start to back up a little bit there, it'll, it'll shoot them down to get a, uh, a code on there, which kind of tells you the date and, and uh, expiration date and all that good stuff. And then it'll hit the label machine. Cindy will get right now and then right into the boxes. They'll, oh, start, cool. they'll, they'll start coming down faster and faster as it, as it starts backing up on it. So, yeah, as you can see, you know, now it'll, it'll, start, it'll start going a little, lot, little faster. So, Oh, wow. So look how it just comes mm -hmm. down and hits the label. And the label goes on and she finishes it off right there. Mm -hmm. And now let me ask you, since the jars are hot, since the marmalade is mm -hmm. hot, how, how does it go through the cooling tunnel without cracking the glass? Yeah, you, and that's a great question. The, the uh, glass is, is super thick, and, it's, and, and this glass is, is uh, actually designed to put up with these super high temperatures. Um, it's real difficult to use like uh, certain plastics or thin wall glass, because that is a problem. But, but if you use the uh, uh, jars, it's kind of like a jar for canning. And if you can get those jars especially made for canning like this, um, they have a real thick wall, no problem with temperature. Very so they cool, can go guys. hot to cold, no problem. Very cool. So there you go. This is marmalade being jarred right now. This is actually the jarring. So Tom, I just want to say thank you very much for the tour, for showing us your business here. Your candy is delicious. Fantastic. And I'm sure my viewers are definitely going to want to get some for themselves and their family. Mm -hmm. Now, um, in case you guys are interested in getting this, ca this candy for your business, if you're interested in selling it wholesale, I'm going to let Tom explain how that would work for you. Well, sure. We, we wholesale uh, all over Florida and the Southeast. Um, on the retail side, we're, we're shipping our, our products uh, all over the U.S. and Canada. But for the wholesale side, uh, absolutely give us a call at 800-654-0647, uh, uh, and we would be, be glad to set you up. We're in a lot of uh, everything from small uh, shops, uh, gourmet shops, uh, other people's catalogs that are shipping uh, things out for the holidays all over. So we're in some larger companies and in some very small companies, and we're uh, very happy to have, have – uh, have them no matter what their size. Well, awesome. Well, thank you so much for Absolutely. having us here with you today. Came. Thanks for visiting. This is Tom Davidson, and he makes real citrus candy here in Florida. Thank you guys for joining us today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell button so you never miss another video on Real Reviews. See you guys next time. Awesome. Thank you for coming in today. It was very nice you. All right, guys. So... We just came back from the Davison of Dundee right here. All sorts of good candies, all sorts of fresh products. Thank you, Davison of Dundee. See you soon.